Hi. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is talk about velocity vectors. And the best way we can do this is just through an example. I've got here that a cyclist moves with a velocity of 3i minus 4j meters per second. And taking the unit vectors i and j in the directions east and north respectively, what we've got to do is calculate the speed and the bearing of the cyclist. Now if I was to draw a sketch of something like this, let's just say we have an aerial view, okay? We're looking down where we'll have our north direction as up the page here and we've got west, east and south. So our unit vectors i and j, i is in the easterly direction just mark that in as I, and J is in the northerly direction, like so, okay? So there are base vectors. So if we were to sketch this, we've got our north direction, okay, like that. And if we say our cyclist, let's just mark the cyclist there just by that circle. If we say that's the cyclist, and we mark in the velocity of the cyclist as essentially being three units in the i direction. Let's say that's three units across then to the right. And we've got minus 4j, so that's going to be four units downwards, okay? We're going to have the cyclist velocity something like this, okay? We can mark it in this arrow there, where we've got our components then as three units that way and four units down. So the cyclist is moving by this amount every second. In other words, the cyclist is just going to move from here to about there in one second and then in the next second it's going to move that unit of distance and so on. Let's just put the cyclist back to where we started, okay? So, if we were to mark the velocity of the cyclist as, say, v, okay, let's define v. Let's say let v be the velocity of the cyclist. In other words, v equals 3i minus 4j. Notice I'm having to do the squiggles under the vectors here because I can't write them in bold print. So if that's v, 3i minus 4j meters per second, if we're to find out the speed of the cyclist, speed is the magnitude of velocity. In other words, it's represented by this length of the vector. So to get the magnitude of a vector, all we need to do is to use Pythagoras' theorem. Remember this notation for the magnitude of a vector, okay? So using Pythagoras' theorem, it's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the components. So we've got 3 squared plus 4 squared. Notice also that we don't need that negative sign in here, okay? So what we've got then is the square root of 9 plus 16, the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 gives us 5. So the speed of the cyclist is 5 meters per second. Now we're also asked to find the bearing that the cyclist is going. And when it comes to working out a bearing, remember we've got to face north, turn in a clockwise direction to the direction that the cyclist in this case is going. So in other words, we're looking for this angle round here. That would be our bearing. And to do that, what I'm going to do is work out what this acute angle is in here. We'll call it theta in this right angle triangle. So to work out that bearing, we'll just give it a subtitle here, bearing. Then by trigonometry, I can see that I've got the opposite side to theta, it's 4, and I've got the adjacent side to theta, which is 3. 
So we're going to use the tangent of theta, the tan of theta for short. We know that tan of the angle theta compares the opposite side with the adjacent side. So it's going to be 4 over 3, 4 thirds. And to get theta, we therefore find theta by taking the inverse tan of both sides. So we've got theta equals the inverse tan of 4 thirds. And if we work in degrees, okay, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, then what you get is 53.130 and so on degrees. Now to get the bearing, all we've got to do then is just take this angle here. We can go to the dotted line here. That's going to be 90 degrees plus theta. So therefore, we can say that the bearing equals 90 degrees plus theta, theta being 53.130 and so on degrees. If we add those two together, we get 143.130 and so on. And normally we give bearings to the nearest degree. So this would be 143 degrees. And we'll just put the accuracy here as being measured to nearest degree. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea then how we go about questions like this. Speed is the magnitude then of our velocity vector. Okay.